Craig here, again, going after another Fukushima myth, or should I say Fukushima lies. That's right, intentional lies to get you to believe crap that's not true so they can get their money from you on their Patreon or PayPal and all these other sites that they try to get money off of you. So, here's the, the couple of myths that come up on my channel all the time. One of them being, the Pacific Ocean is dead. <laughs> Okay, well, how about the other one that I'm going to cover here right now, and that is all the salmon are dead, and they've had to cancel the seas. There's no more fishing because they're all dead, and they're all irradiated, and you can't eat any of them, so it's all done. We're over with. We're screwed. The planet's killed. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Just do a little research. I'm going to put a lot of links below. <laughs> this fishing season has been canceled for almost two years now in a lot of places in certain areas and certain types of salmon. Yeah, it's not all salmon are dead. And it's mostly in the areas of Alaska or Canada, and Canada on both coasts, in fact, where salmon season has been canceled. And if you will read any of the articles that you'll find about it from legitimate sources, not YouTube University, you'll find that they basically says, well, they've been overfished to the point where we better stop fishing them if we want salmon to still survive. So they got to give the, the salmon a chance to come back. It's as simple as that. It doesn't say anything in these articles about Fukushima or radiation. And it's not any everywhere. In fact, you can go to the store and buy specific salmon. Yeah, you go to the store and buy it. In fact, I'll show a bunch of links on the, and on the screen. I'll show a bunch of pages showing that wild Pacific salmon is widely available online from multiple sites. And it's not like $50,000 a pound either. Because if it was really all dead or hey banned all salmon fishing then it would be more than fifty thousand dollars a pound and it would be so rare and probably banned like rhino horn and ivory get a clue so that's easily dispelled but no we want to scream at the top of our lungs that everything's dead so we get money from patreon paypal gofundme yeah, that's what we need to do, because fear sells, and then nothing uh, sells better than a bunch of dead fish. Okay, the other meme is, the Pacific Ocean is all dead now! Oh, yeah? Well, it goes back to that $50,000 a pound fish again. If the Pacific Ocean was dead, you wouldn't be able to fish anymore. And how come there's all sorts of sites trying to get fishermen to hire fishermen to come on their boats for their their uh, over-the-seas fish processing ships. Yeah, you can find these online. They're desperately needing fishermen. If the Pacific Ocean was dead, uh, you wouldn't need fishermen. In fact, all of them would be completely out of work, wouldn't they? Now, those oceans are in trouble in many ways, and they have been for decades before anybody even knew what a Fukushima was. But they're certainly not dead. To say they're dying might be partially true, but to say they're dying from Fukushima radiation is a total lie because you won't find any marine biologists or any place else of these peer-reviewed scientific papers showing that the seas are in trouble due to Fukushima or radiation. Much more was dumped into the oceans for many decades by 14 countries, much more than Fukushima could ever release. And we'll do a video about that later. So anyway, thanks for watching. Check out this video if you want to see what I recently did about the scientific peer-reviewed thing. Thanks for watching.